With epilepsy, the OBI has united expert researchers, doctors who work with people with epilepsy, industry partners who are creating new products to treat seizures, and patient advocacy groups who understand the needs of people and their families who are affected by epilepsy. That has never been done before in Canada, and it's still rare in the world of brain science. Let's see what the next generation of research into epilepsy looks like. People don't realize that there are so many Canadians who are living with epilepsy and living with the devastating impact of having unpredictable seizures. When they see someone have a seizure, they're terrified. And, they, and if they, someone has a seizure on the job, they fire them. You could possibly injure yourself. You could be with people who don't know how to help, and it could be life-changing. There are problems with self-image and confidence that don't go away even when the seizures stop. What the OBI in principle will allow one to do is to test things that really would be difficult to obtain funding for through conventional sources. The longitudinal nature of the OBI is very important. Uh, often research progresses as you would a step on a ladder, where the conventional agencies would give you three steps on the ladder and then stop the project, have to go back in the open competition, which may or may not be successful to continue up the ladder. The OBI provides a platform where you can continue. I think it's probably the first time where uh, we have uh, community organizations, uh, clinicians, and PhD researchers and basic scientists uh, coming together to address the issue of epilepsy. Um, I think that uh, these type of synergies are very uh, important, particularly because we've seen in the res in research in general that kind of things are done in little silos, uh, and now to bring those various factors together, um, I think is going to be uh, very exciting for research in Ontario. What Uplink is doing is incredibly important for epilepsy as a condition, because in my opinion, as a patient advocate, it is putting the patient first, and that is really important in research because the need should come from the person that's affected in their family. So what AppLink is allowing us to do is have a, a dialogue, a communication. So my research, for instance, is around patient education, but it's really difficult to get people who are newly diagnosed unless you work with your clinicians. So that's already a partnership. And then in order to get good data, we have to work with researchers. So we've got a good example in our, in our program, which is called Clinic to Community, how all three have to work together if you're truly going to have improved outcomes for persons affected by this brain condition. One of the most important outcomes is already there, which is the, the collaboration between the different centers in the province. And before we were not talking to each other, now we are talking to each other. And actually, we are collaborating and sharing information. That's one one of the success of this program. The second success, I think, will be uh, the fact that uh, Ontario will be very well positioned in the, in the epilepsy world in terms of research. Well, we're still in the research phase. So what we're looking for is a drug which can help replace or reduce something called the ketogenic diet. And potentially the way these databases are being developed, you should be able to identify the right type of patients to get them in the right type of studies so you can understand the, the quality of your, your drug in the terms of changing the quality of life of the patient. So I think those are all things where uh, Eplink will have a, a major impact and where you'll be able to measure the results. We're learning what's happening in research right now. So we're, we're able to say this is coming um, and to be able to provide hope I think is really what being at the forefront of what's happening in research allows us to provide to families is hope that there are new treatments and that's not just for medication. Um, so whether there's improvements to surgery or even just new research in terms of how to live well with epilepsy. The OBI put us in contact with biotech companies in the Toronto area and we've been really told how to do it. We've been helped enormously and we've got uh, drugs halfway through preclinical testing now. So it's been just like a door was opened and suddenly things became possible. If you're interested in learning more about the OBI or any of our programs, please get in touch with us. If you have any particular questions about a brain disorder, we can connect you with one of our partner organizations because the OBI is doing science differently.